So I'm Christina Lampionerud, CEO and founder of Boston Power. We started five years ago with a mission to bring long-lasting, fast-charging, green and safe technology to the market with a vision to empower portable electronics, transportation and utility markets that are now emerging into a next level and really thrilled to be here for that. I've been very interested in the transportation segment for a very long time. I've been in this industry for 20 years and saw the opportunity already in the end of the 90s where lithium-ion battery technology became strong enough to power larger systems and advocated with uh, lots of parliaments in the world that now was the time. I think today, now is the time and there are consumers that are now pulling, we have governments embracing the ideas and we have a 100-year-old automotive industry teaming up with a 200-year-old battery industry making it happen. I'm thrilled to be doing this with Saab, who to me is one of the most technically capable organizations in the world. And I believe Boston Power is agile and fast and we have a really cool battery platform. And I think we will together make one of the best cars in this space. I think there are a few people that have helped make this happen. Boston Power is certainly one of them, where we looked for technical acumen as the number one driver, because frankly, uh, while there is no innovation needed, there is a large degree of system integration. And I feel Sweden, uh, particular with the engineering talent that exists there, but also the traditions inside Saab is extraordinary, actually, and teaming up with us that bring a very new skill set to their team, you need to have somebody on the other side who says, I would like to understand, and I frankly don't get it. One more time, please. And that's a really important aspect. Uh, I think Saab was looking, and frankly, I also know we were part of uh, fairly large test programs where you know, I'm delighted and very proud to tell you that uh, we had the best performance in that test fleet, and I believe we're still sourced with them as well. And, and I think they will experience also a battery provider that cares comes in with content and delivers on the milestones and the promises that we have made. We uh, approached quite a few different automotive players uh, already two years ago and we're of course thrilled with the technical depth frankly at Saab. So it has been very critical to us just like we did with HP who helped the company become real in the portable electronic space where they pushed us through all Six Sigma manufacturing, all the details and basically the highest performance possible in the market. We now have that platform and able to deliver to Saab in mass production products that have been through all the industry standard audits. We are one of the biggest providers in the world right now of big systems. And um, while there are a lot of unknowns as we approach new markets, Saab has a lot of engineering talent and we're immensely impressed with that and totally thrilled. We're meeting between the power source and the powertrain. And there's this new era of collaboration where our two teams and with other partners involved as well are not inventing but basically hooking up these different inventions into a system. So in some ways you can think of our battery technology as a platform and um, how about this? Think of Legos. Three Legos or four Legos or five Legos for portable electronics, 500 to 2,000 Legos for a car, and 30 to 40,000 for a power station. So we are basically in mass production of a very low cost solution that survives in consumer electronics, deploying consumer electronics components for the steering system and the electronic interface to the application, as well as having an opportunity to have scalability. And that's really what we offer. So I would not have engaged with Saab if I thought it was just a project. I'm on a mission. <laughs> I want to make this Saab platform the leading edge technology in the world because we can. And Boston Power is very hungry to make this happen. Our team is extremely eager to engage. And I feel the same on the Saab side. I believe the Saab with its ups and downs recently has gotten a laser sharp focus. Uh, it's part of the European mission right now to make Saab one of the premier providers of electrification in transportation. And they have the commitment, they have the drive, and they have the willpower and the knowledge, that's most important to me, uh, to actually make this happen. 
And um, I believe you will see in less than a year 100 cars going out as the first test fleet. And um, shortly after that, I believe we have the opportunity to provide actually very large fleets, thousands of cars. Uh, we're going to invite uh, trial drivers that can get a chance to be part of the testing and the feedback. I actually feel it's a little bit of a mission. We will basically engage with the public to get feedback and in a fairly honest and maybe even unusual way. We are very fortunate at Boston Power. We have Saab as our European front runner. I think it's a great uh, collaboration. I have huge hopes for this. We're investing a lot of time and resources into making this successful. Uh, we're also having Asian partnerships, which are not competing, but basically it's helping all parties and we're launching US collaborations as well, so non-competing markets but similar applications and as well as China with various degree of uh, electrification. And I think that's very important because you can't just do one project and it's the same, right? So you'll learn from many things. This is emerging technology in emerging markets where even if we sit down and do the best brainstorming we can, we will not be able to put the perfect spec for a user 10 years from now. The automotive industry, I have a lot of admiration and uh, I feel pretty humbled to participate in it because uh, it is one that has developed standards for safety and durability. The notion of no walk homes is very real. And in the electrification and the handshake between the battery and the car, if that system is not correct, you may have issues. And um, I believe we'll get there. It's going to take a few years. Uh, the fact that we're deploying cars very soon into the streets, I think it's great. And it's going to be all of us who participate. You, if you have a chance to drive it, uh, me as a technology provider, Saab as a basically assistance integrator, and a little bit of uh, here's what we would like to see. This is really important, this is not so important. Because I think also we're challenging the paradigm of what automobiles mean to society today and what that means 10 years from now.